morning, morning, morning. It's uh, English for Friday, so the end of the week. Now, obviously, I know some of you are, are starting to write your stories today. Some of you are probably in the middle of your stories, wherever you're at. Uh, I'm just going to look at the do now because you, you fully know what you need to do for your English today uh, if you've been following it through the week. So I am just going to look at the do now because you know what you're doing with your story. And as always, send them to me. I love reading them. And thank you very much. Uh, so, let's have a look at the do now. So you just need to make a parenthesis with dashes for Jessica Ennis Hill. So give some extra information uh, that can be put into parenthesis. Um, you could use the picture to help, actually. You could write about the picture if you really wanted to. Um, I'm not a big fan of this one. Write two are different adverbs that describe the verbs in these sentences. So you've got to think of an adverb to describe the verb up here. So I'm looking at this and they're going to be L-Y adverbs. So exhausted, the climber climbed upwards tiredly, I, I, I would put, but I'm not a fan of, put, of finishing with an adverb at the end of a sentence. Intimidated, the irate bull, irate means angry, charged furiously. That one worked, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not so sure with that first one. Maybe I'm not thinking of the right word. Maybe my brain's not working this morning. But think of two adverbs that describe um, the verbs. So exhausted, um, or, or you could use, I suppose it could be clambered as well, couldn't it? Mr. Whoops has lost opposite words. So what is the opposite word to measurable? Well, that's going to be immeasurable, and that's I-M, M. Convenient or inconvenient, and that's I-N, inconvenient. Um, modal verbs, adverbs and proper nouns. So can you think of a modal verb? Remember, modal verbs uh, pos is possibility, remember. So the possibility of something happening is a modal verb. So letter C, uh, you could have could. It could happen. Letter M, might. It might happen. Adverb, uh, you could have carefully. And you could have... Um, Magically, I suppose. And then proper noun. Oh, you could have any. You could have anything, couldn't you? You could have uh, Claire as the person's name. And then for M, you could have. Oh, you could have anything. You could have Mr. Cooper uh, or, or or Manchester. Um, and then what have we got? The letter, these sounds, uh, sorry, these words contain the Y that sounds like an I. So the country ruled by Tutankhamun. Oh, that's Egypt, isn't it? Egypt, it, yeah, because you go Egypt, it, which is actually the Y. Oh, sorry, I said sounds like an I, it's not, it sounds like it. Um, a puzzling situation. Oh, mystery. M I story, but it's a Y. A 3D shape made by triangular faces. Oh, that links with the first one. Pyramid. And then add a subordinate clause at the beginning of this sentence. Don't forget the correct punctuation. So you need a, so you need a comma to finish your subordinate clause. Neil Armstrong bounced off to, ex bounced off to explore the moon's surface. I don't like that word. Um, so you need to start with a subordinate conjunction. Um, as he was full of excitement, comma... Neil Armstrong bounced off to explore the moon's surface. There you go. Something like that. So start with a subordinate conjunction. A white bus, remember. And good luck with your writing. So well done for doing that, guys. And I look forward to reading what some of us have got. Um, next week is is another thing to, to write. But after that, I think we're just going to tick over the last few weeks uh, with sort of like discreet on your own lessons. So just toolkits every day, uh, just to really make sure that we've got um, some things ready for the end of the year okay so thank you for your stories I look forward to reading them